This question belongs to computer network subject and was asked in GATE CSE 2020. So the question states, an organization requires a range of IP addresses to assign to one of which its 1500 computers. The organization has approached an internet service provider ISP for this task. The ISP uses CIDR and serves the request from the available IP address space. The available IP address space is 202.61.0.0/70. The ISP wants to assign an address space to the organization which will minimize the number of routing entries in the ISP router using router aggregation which means we are using subnetting. Okay. Which of the following address space are potential candidates from which the ISP can allot any one of the organization? So we have the following options. Okay. So let us first expand this IP address. So it is 202.61.0 can be expanded as 00000000 and it can also be expanded into 8 zeros. Okay. Now what is this 17? 17 is basically our network ID. So network ID is 17. So 8 bits over here, 8 bits over here and 1 bit over here. So this is our network ID. And what are the rest bits? Rest bits are basically host ID. Okay, but we need 1500 computers. So what is 2 to the power 10? It is 1024. And 2 to the power 11 is 2048. So we need actually 11 bits for our host ID. So we have 8 over here and 3 over here. So these are host ID. And these remaining 4 bits are basically our subnet ID. So we have 4 bits. So 4 bits can be used to represent 16 subnets, which is 2 to the power 4. 16 subnets. So any of the possible address must be among this subnet ID. Okay, let us see the options. So first option is 202.61.84. 0 .0 it can be written as 202.61.84 can be written as 0 0.0000.000000. So host ID is perfectly all zeros and our network ID 0 is matching with this and then we have these are subnet IDs. Subnet ID is 1010. But see, this host ID has a 1. But host ID must be all zeros. So it is false. Then we have second option 202.61.104 slash 0. So we have 104 slash 0 slash 21. So it's 202.61.104 can be written as. So we can write 104 like. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So these 11 bits are host ID, all zeros perfect. These 4 are subnet ID, perfect. And these 11 are network ID. And it is entirely matching, so perfect. So second one can be an option. First one is wrong, second one is a possible answer. Let us see third one. So third one is 202.61.64 slash 0. Now writing it binary equivalent we get 64 as so 64 can be written as 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 So these till here is our host ID these four are our subnet ID host ID is all zero subnet ID is in the range and network ID is matching So option C can also be a possible answer now let us see option D. Option D is 202.61.144/0. So now we need to write the binary equivalent for 144. So 144 can be written as 1010000. So these ones are our host ID, all zeros. These ones are our subnet ID, perfect. But see here, host ID should have this 17th bit is 0, network ID. And here network ID 17th bit is 1. So network ID is not matching. So option D is false. So option 2nd and 3rd. So correct answer is option B 2 and 3 only. 